Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. So, we have been having way too much fun with this October Pie Collaboration. And if you notice, it's November. So, we've decided we're just going to keep going. So today, I'm going to make another pie. But, if y'all know me, you know I'm going to switch it up. So, today I'm going to make a ricotta coconut amaretto and apricot pizza pie. So let's get started. All right, so this is going to be a sweet pizza. So I have here two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add five tablespoons of room temperature butter. And this is a lot like making a pie crust. If you've made pizza crust, there, this is not how I've made them before. So we're going to just work this butter into the flour. We want to get it worked in well. And I have to show y'all, Mrs. Lori's friend, Jenny, sent me one of these in the mail. It's a kitchen scarf. So it's fabric and then it's a kitchen towel at the bottom. So you can pick things up, you can clean your hands, all kinds of things. But Jenny, thank you. I love it. And you know what? It matches my apron that says, get your fat pants ready. <laughs> so it's perfect for this recipe. I have to tell you, this is the second time I've made this today because I made this whole video and dessert and I accidentally deleted all the files. Not good. So I've got my two and a half cups of flour. I've got five tablespoons of butter and I got one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add those in. And I'm just going to get this cut together really well. Just like if you were making a pie crust. And you want to get the flour coated really well with the butter. That's the whole purpose. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to add three quarters cup of milk. This is whole milk. And I will tell you, I'll probably need to add some more because of our dry climate. We want this to make a soft dough. I think I'll need, I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this. And just like a pizza crust, you don't want to work it too much, but you want to have it moist enough that it's going to hold together. Maybe just a little more. OK, 
Okay, let's see if that'll hold together. It makes a soft dough. That's what we want. All right, we're going to lightly flour the board. Now we're going to roll it out into a pizza. We're going to try and keep it kind of round, but it doesn't have to be perfect. it at least 12 inches and now what I'm going to do is we want the center to be a little bit lower than the sides so I'm just going to press down on the center and I'm going to press up on the side If you want to make it pretty, you can. Looks good to me. Now 
now I'm going to transfer this onto some parchment paper on my pizza peel. First I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and loose. I will tell you that the first one I made I did not put on parchment paper. And we had a really fun time getting the loaded pizza onto the peel. Now just make sure that your edges are all up because when you pour the filling in, it is going to spread out. So we want to make sure we want to make sure that the filling will not spread. So I'm just going to go through first and just double check that my edges are high enough. that looks good. Now before I started on the crust, I made sure and mixed six tablespoons of finely grated coconut, unsweetened, and six tablespoons of amaretto. And I let that sit because I wanted it to soften the coconut and I wanted it to soak in and give it the flavor. So. This has been soaking. Now you can do this up to 24 hours ahead of time. So I'm going to put that in a bigger bowl. Now I'm going to add six tablespoons of sugar. You want to be sure and use unsweetened coconut, I think, because otherwise this is going to be a very sweet filling because the amaretto is sweet, you're adding the sugar, and if you like it extra sweet, then go ahead. But personally, I'd I didn't want to use the sweetened coconut. Then we're going to add one and a quarter cups of ricotta cheese. And I love ricotta cheese. And we're just going to mix this all together really well. I'm going to set that aside. Now we're going to bring back our crust. And we're going to put this in our pie crust. And just spread it out to the edges. And this is why we wanted to make sure that the edges were high enough because this filling is very, very thin. All right. 
So we have our amaretto coconut ricotta filling. And because amaretto is an almond liqueur, we're going to cover it with toasted almonds. And I just toasted these on top of my stove in a skillet. Don't walk away, keep it moving, but it's not difficult. This pizza has to have toppings, right? Now, the recipe doesn't call for any of this, but if it's a pizza, I have to have toppings. And then, I have these apricots that I had frozen oh, a few months ago when a friend gave them to me and I didn't get them all processed. So they were in my freezer. Now this pizza pie is going to be kind of sweet. So I thought, I want something a little tart. And that's apricots. They're a sweet, tart taste. And I think they're going to go wonderful. With the amaretto and... The ricotta and all this, all the flavors. I just thought that would be the perfect thing to set them apart. Plus, it kind of looks like little pepperonis. There we go. I have my oven preheated to 450 degrees. Now I am going to put this in and then immediately turn it down to 400 degrees and cook it till it's the crust is golden brown. And it says 10 minutes, but I think it may take a little bit longer. So I'm going to get this in the oven. We'll come back when I pull the pizza out. Here it is. Our dessert pizza. Ricotta cheese, amaretto, coconut, toasted sliced almonds, and apricots. This doesn't look beautiful. It looks like a pizza. These kind of look like pepperoni. So, this is right out of the oven. I'm going to try and lift it. Crust is nice golden brown. We're going to let it cool just a little bit. And we're actually going to taste the other one that I made the first time that looks just like this. So we'll be right back. So here it is my little slice of dessert pizza. It's really good. And what I love is it's not too sweet. Because we used the unsweetened coconut, we used a little sugar, but we didn't use the sweetened coconut. So it's just enough. And when you bite into the apricot, it offsets it. Mmm. It's so good. Just a little bit like custard in the filling, but not a lot. The sweet, the tart, you can taste the coconut, you can taste the amaretta, the, the almond flavor. 
it's just really really good so I really hope you give this a try it actually is pretty easy I make pizza crust and this crust is a little bit different very easy to make very easy to roll out it goes perfectly with the sweeter filling so give this a try I think you'll like it you can use other liqueurs you can use other toppings because the recipe that I used did not call for toppings and it came out of this book Italian favorites and it was a coconut ricotta pizza and that's all that it had it it used frangelico instead of the amaretto but otherwise that I just added toppings and the amaretto so do what sounds good to you so this is part of our collaboration and because of that I'm gonna tag someone and I want her to make a video of a pie and I get off a little bit by doing my pizza pie but be creative because that's what makes this so much fun so I'm going to tag Mama Z's Texas Kitchen now I'm a Texas girl so Mama Z make me proud do something really awesome and I look forward to seeing your video if you enjoyed this, please give me thumbs up, subscribe, share, and hit the little notification bell. Thank you for watching. God bless, and we will talk again soon.